everyone. This is Monica and welcome to my channel Fixin' Vixen. I have not been here for eight months and one week. That's so long. I'm so sorry. It has been a very, very, very long time and I've missed doing videos, but um, I have been keeping um, updates and pictures and things like that on my Instagram site. So if you want to check that out, it's right there. <laughs> so um, anyway, what's been up? So I've got so much to share that has been up with me. Um, like I said, it's, um, eight weeks, I'm sorry, eight months and one week, and tomorrow, Tuesday, September 18th, um, is going to be my week 36 end, and also the end of my nine month surge anniversary. <laughs> So, uh, let me start from the beginning so that I can put my stats out there. On January 8th, January 9th, 2018, I had gastric bypass surgery, or RNY, and I had it in Parker, Colorado. Dr. Tom Brown, which I see on Wednesday of this week, uh, he was my surgeon. He is through the Colorado... Um, Bariatric Surgery Institute. My surgery was done at Parker Adventist Hospital in Parker, Colorado. So um, my highest weight was 280 pounds. My surgery weight was 253.7 pounds. My Last update on YouTube, which was at week three post-op, I was at 234.2, and I haven't weighed myself as of tomorrow, but as of today, I am currently at 173.6 pounds, so... Um, the math on that is from surgery weight, I have lost 83.7 <laughs> pounds, and from my overall high weight of 280 pounds down to 173.6, that is a total loss of 106.4. Happy nine month surge anniversary. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm stoked. I'm I'm happy. I am just happy. Okay, so the big question we'll get out of the way first. Why come back to YouTube? Mm, couple reasons. One, I really have enjoyed and have used the videos that I made before. I use it to go back and find that inspiration of what keeps me moving forward. So the videos that I make now will hopefully be further inspiration about how happy I am and how hard I've worked in these last nine months and if I need to reference them again, I'll have them here. So those are kind of my reasons for coming back to YouTube. They're very personal reasons, but like I've always said, you know, way back from the beginning, if anybody could get any use out of any of these videos, then I would love to have them out there. I can't say that I'm sorry for not posting weekly or even monthly, but just kind of disappearing off of YouTube, because it's been 30-some years, you know, since I have been at a healthy weight. 
I, I suffered from weight my whole life from you know too much weight and overeating and a lot of it stems from how I was raised and how I was taught to cook and and you know not caring enough about my health and you know waiting until later years to actually do something about it and so actually finding myself in a position where I could enjoy being at a healthy weight and I continue to be at a healthy weight is it's a phenomenal feeling like I don't want to lose that I don't want to waste the time that I have now the real the, the real case is that I wanted to be out there I needed to be out there I needed the summer you know to go swimming with my kids to go on hikes with my kids to do walking to do you know, I didn't do a lot of strenuous activity. It was just that I could walk without knee pain. Um, we could go do stuff without me first thinking about where are we going to eat? What are we going to eat? Do I have money so that we can eat? Do, you know, everything was focused and centered around food. And now when we go out, it's like we don't even think about it. You know, we'll pack our own picnic and take it. Whereas before, it was like, oh my God, I don't want to carry that with me because, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have to lug it around, one. And two, the food that's out there just isn't as good as what I could pack, you know? And so, yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> I, I needed my summer. So, um, second question, uh, do I have any regrets? for having RNY surgery. And still, quite frankly, a resounding no. No regrets whatsoever. So I can't eat some things because it does cause dumping. Um, but you know what? I kind of don't care. Um, I don't eat the stuff that makes me dump because I don't like to dump. It is very painful and uh, it, it's for me it's kind of a cross of I feel like I'm nauseous I feel like I need to go number two um, I can't throw up um, and I'm just sick 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 and my stomach's just like in a tight grip and um, kind of a uh, I don't always cold sweat, but just I get really hot, like I'm having a heat flash, and um, yeah, it's just not a good sensation at all, and it's not worth the little bit of a food that I can actually consume to go through it. I don't, I don't have any regrets whatsoever, um, so I can't eat a whole piece of pizza anymore, I can't eat cake, I can't eat ice cream, I can't eat any foods that are really high in carbs. I do stay away from breads because they take up a lot of room in my stomach and um, I do still watch a lot of uh, Dr. Vaughn or V, Dr. V, um, and he always said, you have such a small pouch now, you don't want to waste the room that you have on stuff that is meaningless, that, you know, isn't the best. And so I've really taken that to the extreme, and what I eat now is, like, the best. <laughs> I don't want anything that's not good. I eat lots of salmon, lots of shrimp, um, vegetables, um, soft, like, sautéed vegetables. I love sautéed vegetables. Uh, overall, I would say my... Eating portion sizes are about four four ounces. Um, I've had a couple of months where I have jumped up to about six ounces, five to six ounces of food per um, sitting. Uh, but I feel like those two months that I did that, my weight gain was significantly less, and I went to, I went, I, after I ate, I just felt so full. Like, I felt 
overly full and it was uncomfortable. And for me, I don't like that feeling any longer. I don't like to feel like there's food and I'm reminded of it every minute after I eat. So I really stick to about four ounces of food. I want to say like four or five, but really when I measure out my food, I only weigh about four ounces of food at a time. Um, or I'm using the little cups still. I'll fill up two of those and eat out of those. I just, uh, I can't eat uh, large quantities at one setting. Um, as far as how many times a day I eat, um, I think in one of my older videos, I was already kind of arguing with my dietitian. I still have the same dietitian, and I'm not going to say any names, but we still don't quite see it eye to eye because I eat roughly three times a day, four if I count my coffee in the morning with the protein in it. I still drink my coffee and shakes, uh, Premier Protein Shake, coffee, um, and my protein powder in the mornings because um, I love it and I don't want to give it up. And then I eat two to three times throughout the day. And as I said, they're anywhere from three to four ounces of food, sometimes two to four ounces. It just depends. And sometimes it's only two more times throughout the day. But the bottom line is, for me, I feel that I'm getting enough nutrition. Mm, no, I'm getting enough food in my body to sustain myself. That's better. I can see where my dietitian is worried about the nutrition that I'm I'm not getting, but I take I take my vitamins. I take my you know uh, three bariatric. Uh, multivitamins a day and I take my three calcium chews a day and I drink water throughout the day um, so you know I haven't ever been dehydrated so I'm getting enough water but I really just feel like what I consume is adequate for me and I feel some like sometimes my dietitian is trying to fit me into this cookie cutter box where everyone should be after the surgery and that's just not how I feel about it so um, I think the surgery is different for everyone um, what you can eat is different for everyone how much you can eat is different for everyone and you know the results are different for everyone and watching lots of different people who have lots of different uh, symptoms, eating habits, uh, even exercise trends that they do, um, it's all different for everyone. And so if you're thinking about having a weight loss surgery done, I think it's really important to watch as many, as much variety of people as you can that have had the surgery done because you never know what your outcome is going to be until you actually do it and you're there. Um, as far as exercise goes, I absolutely have the energy to exercise. However, I do not do cardio. I do walking. I tried jogging, but jogging was really tough for me. Not, not the jogging. I can jog, but afterwards was really tough the aftercare maintenance of my body and um, the repercussions that I felt or I feel after I jog. Um, I put so much energy into doing that uh, that with my quantity of food that I take in and the amount of water that I drink in a day at that point, it is not sufficient for me to be doing cardio exercises at all. So um, I don't do cardio. I have, however, um, 
have been doing strength training, like, um, well, I do squats, push-ups, jumping jacks, crunches, lunges, and push-ups, and then I stretch. So, uh, I would say walking and strength training are my two big uh, exercise boosts that I try to stay consistent with. Um, so I did not get to finish my video last night, um, so I'll go ahead and do the wrap up this morning. However, I did get to weigh myself this morning and the weight was 172.6. And um, so that will wrap up my weight for week 36 and the accumulation of month 9. I do not believe that I will be doing weekly videos. I'm going to try to get at least monthly videos out from now on, but I will get some pictures out that kind of show my weight uh, loss journey over the last nine months or eight months, I guess. So again, if you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you would like to see more pictures and information, you can follow me on um, Instagram at FixinVixin, F-I-X-I-N-V-Y-X-Y-N. And again, I'll post it there so you can see it. <laughs> so until next month then, I hope everyone has a wonderful month and I will see you then. I'm a new dog with a part of all the strange world of purple, 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 purple,